Of course, Philadelphia signing Saquon Barkley. Um, this is something different than I expected Howie to do. Um, Howie Roseman typically does pull off, you know, we've seen him pull off uh, major deals, bringing in A.J. Brown, um, bringing in, um, you know, uh, uh, big names, Kevin Byard. Uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Darius Leonard. He he he's done before, but this is a little bit different, just because the running back really wasn't a weak spot for us. We have a deep running back backfield with Gainwell Scott and um, Gainwell Scott and and Swift, and just to kind of see us go in and pick up Saquon, Saquon is something different than what we we typically seen how we how we go and do. I think it's a great addition. Um, the deal goes out to three years and $37 million with $26 million fully guaranteed at signing. It's still impeding. I think there's some things that have to work out before it goes well, before it's actually concluded. But um, I think it's a good pickup for Philadelphia. I think it's something that will, if we utilize him right and not have a heavy uh, load for him, that he can be, he can last the whole season and play well. Um, I think he showcased that the last two seasons with the Giants, uh, that durability is maybe not a thing that they need to worry about, especially with the load that he was carrying in um, in New York. Uh, but I, I just feel that um, I like Swift because he was healthy. He wasn't relatively bad. He can run between the tackles. Him and Gainwell were a good one-two punch. I hope he retained Gainwell, and we still have Saquon. I'm not sure Gainwell is going to be asking for more money, but I think it will be a great pickup if he stays healthy. New York just lost a good one. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, ever since they did Brian Flores dirty, it has not been well. But Tiki Barber came out, and he said something. He said he's dead to us now. He's dead to us. You're dead to us, Saquon. Bar Barber said with a smile and chuckle upon learning the news, uh, the Evan and Tiki show, good luck, you're dead to me. So basically, Tiki Barber... You know, New York Giant, New York Giant, great Hall. You know, New York Giant, pretty much uh, Hall of Famer for that for that team. Um, for him to say that with Saquon is really wild because, first of all, his, Tiki Barber being a running back and and how the games evolved, where running backs now are being looked at as um, not a big option to pay out. Um, running backs are perceived as replaceable, interchangeable especially in today's game, and I don't think they are, but they're perceived as interchangeable and replaceable. And, you know, they just don't get those big payouts. The game's different back then from when Tiki Barber played, played and where running backs were still kind of regarded as an integral part of offense. Not saying they ever were not, but they are an integral part of the offense. But now nowadays, um, you know, it, the, the, offense, the offense has changed, and the perception of running back has changed. For Tiki Barber to come out and say that, especially how running backs have battled over the, over the past couple of years, is just insane. Especially Saquon playing on a franchise tag and risking his whole career and the money that could affect his career um, over the next couple of years, you know, for the rest of his career, getting injured. If Saquon would have got injured playing on the franchise tag, he would have never got a deal. The Giants would have never gave him any money. But he put that risk out. And yet Tiki Barber still has something to say about him not being loyal and or playing as hard as he could for the New York Giants. That's insane. Tiki Barber, he, he, that's loony. But Saquon responded and he said this. He said, you've been a hater since I got to New York. And, and all the dead to me talk, don't smile in, in my face when you see me. I really think it's a weak move by Tiki Barber. I, I personally think that... Um, you know, what, what Saquon's doing is he's looking out not just for – he wants to win, and he's not looking out for himself. If you look at Saquon last year, he pretty much carried pretty much carried, carried the load, um, you know, carried the load. If you look, look at his numbers, I mean, he, he, was, he was pretty much their only player. If you talk, you talk about the Giants, you're not talking about Danny Dimes. Um, you're, you're talking about Saquon Barkley, how he, how he carried that team. Um, I mean, he had, he had 280, nearly 300 on the ground. He had almost 1,000 I – mean, Almost a thousand on the ground, 962, and almost 300 through the air. Um, you know, four touchdowns, 41, 41 receptions to the running back out the backfield. Um, he averaged what about about 18, 19 carries per game, more touches. Um, you know, only fumbled the ball twice uh, in the game uh, and, and this season. Uh, I mean, he he's your sure guy. You know, he played every game this season different than what what we saw in the previous seasons when he got when he got injured. But if you even go back to 2002 season, he had 1,300 yards, he had 57 receptions, and uh, he had almost 400 yards. 
So Saquon for the past two years has shown his worth and his value carrying the load for New York Giants. It's preposterous that that Tiki Barber comes out and says something like that. I, I think that's I think it just showcases how guys sometimes you know athletes get in the media they just say anything. He's dead to us now. Now if it's loyalty, he should have stuck it out and played for lesser money. I, I don't think that's right because New York has nothing right now. You know, Jalen Wyatt's number one. Denny Dimes who continues to flop. Like, I mean, what, 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 why will he say the Giants and the Giants aren't winning? And they don't want to pay him. And they're putting his body in jeopardy. So it just makes no sense to me um, why Tiki Barr was saying anything. I'm happy Saquon Barkley is with the Philadelphia Eagles. I think it's a great pickup for us, bringing him on. And I think he's going to do wonders for the team.